Hey Virgos, welcome back, welcome back into your weekend reading. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what your messages are for the weekend. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the channel and the readings. Okay, so starting off with the Queen of Cups showing up here in your reading. A very feminine, passive, emotional energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, let's see. Why are they being significant over this weekend for you? Okay. Oh, all right. You're going to receive um, an emotional message. I miss you. I love you. Thinking of you. How are you doing? Very sweet kind of emotional message coming in this weekend. I feel from a water sign. For some of you, it could be a, an apology of some sort. Okay, so expect to... Get something, could be a text message or a phone call or something along those lines, might even be a happy birthday over this weekend. I know, um, yeah, we still think we're at, at the end of Virgo season. So if your birthday is September 19th, 20th, 21st, or 22nd, or maybe even 23rd, I think we go to the 22nd or 23rd, might be a birthday message for you as well. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> Okay, could be from a lover, could be from a mother, a sister, a long lost aunt or a grandmother. Some of you, if you have someone who's passed away, you might get some kind of, I want to say like intuitive message or download as well from someone very special to you. If you have a birthday, if there's no birthday, it's just a, uh, it's just a, a love message. Point blank period. Okay. You also have a King of Swords showing up. For some of you, this message could be from a King of Swords, right? Uh, let's see. A lot of people showing up in your reading already. We're just getting started this weekend. Let's see. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay. King of Swords is oh, feeling very unloved. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's by you, but there's a King of Swords here who's... How should we say... They're, they're not available. I will say that. The King of Swords is not available this weekend. Um, they're on some kind of an emotional journey of some sort. So, let's see. You could be traveling with them. Or they're temporarily going to be like missing in action. This King of Swords. Air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're, they're checking out. Definitely checking out emotionally. Temporarily though. Okay temporarily so if you're trying to talk to this person or get any kind of like emotional feedback or anything like that is in, in regards to feelings or anything like that you're not going to get it leave them alone i'm hearing just leave them alone i guess they get something to stuff to sort out maybe they just don't feel good there's just i'm hearing leave them alone right leave them be they're they're they're, they're going off the grid that's how i feel okay so let's take a look here if you if you send this person a message you try to reach out i don't feel like you're going to get anything back if you do it's going to be it could be a week it's just going to be a while definitely nothing over this weekend anything you do get in return will be kind of short you know like i'm fine N nothing's wrong <laughs> you know what i mean kind of that energy they're checking out emotionally. Okay, what else does Virgo need to see? All right, see, you got a lot of people showing up here already. Now you're the King of Cups, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, booking. it's a bookend. Why is the King of Cups here? Okay, oh. All right, so the King of Cups, um, it could be the same Queen of Cups here. This could be a continuation. Um... There's something here about, well, very much holding you to a high regard, I feel. Here's your card, Virgo. This is you. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. That's 100% the Virgo card, okay? This is, um, this King Cup wants to put a little deposit down into your account, if you know what I mean. Okay? A little deposit into your account here. Okay, something to do with money. There's a connection with money. Okay, this King of Cups is making some kind of offer, has this idea, this plan in regards to money or how to make your life better financially. Okay. 
they want to make an offer of some sort but there's communication so you're definitely going to be getting communication on an emotional and um how does that sound emotional and like a physical level physical tangible monetary okay um they have some ideas or something this could be a communication where they reach out to you and send an emotional message and then there's communication about how you're doing financially okay that could be coming up where it's like a continuation i don't know why i guess i could have just dug deeper maybe it would have shown up but it's the way it's going it could also be someone else right there could be two two water signs masculine and feminine showing up here like let's not get confused so this king of cups is definitely as far as like a masculine it's very muscular this masculine is very is very muscular okay um the king of cups might ask you or might offer um they could be like a trainer or something and they might um tell you that they're going to charge you for fitness training <laughs> i don't know you might actually maybe i don't know you go and maybe you get like a fitness trainer or something over the weekend virgo and this is who it is and they tell you how much it's going to be they message you back or something like that right i kind of feel like now they're just saying be careful they're not overcharging you because they think you have a lot of money it's weird okay let's let's move on that's an interesting message okay so you've got the death card all right something's ending this weekend Ooh, somebody's making a decision yeah somebody's making a decision to end something this weekend what are you doing virgo you're calling something you're calling quits on something this weekend you're done no completely done you're finished like you're blocking you're done you're not you are having no communication with someone and it's so it's another partner it could be a scorpio you're like not talking nope i'm out you're not even compromising you may be asked to compromise but you're not trust in your gut trust in your instincts on something here okay some something's changing big changes happening because you're saying no Okay. Interesting. All right. You also have the Knight of Swords. Ooh. You are running, Virgo. Are you running, like actually physically running? Maybe you're going to start taking up jogging or running. Like fast, sprinting. Somebody's sprinting. Apart from that, though, like, like you are, you're running away fast. Maybe it's from this energy. It's just saying no and running as fast as you can. That's what I feel like's going on here. Some of you are going to be like the driver in a getaway car for a bank robbery. <laughs> Listen, if you get caught, you're just as liable. Even if you didn't go ahead and steal anything, driving the car, you're still liable. You're going to get the same punishment because you're part of the heist. Maybe it's a movie you're watching. Maybe some like bank robbery movie or something you're gonna see i don't know you're moving quick though like speed of lightning uh, virgo where, so you might be traveling too over this weekend but you're like there's no traffic no traffic no airport traffic it's all systems go um like you can head down the the road like 80 miles an hour you know like it's it's moving really fast some of you are like getting out of town over the weekend. <laughs> I don't know. You're quick though. You're quick this weekend. You're kind of dodging people. I don't know. I just I just see speed. Look at this. You see those trees? Like the wind is blowing. You're going against the wind here. Against the wind. Wasn't that a song? Yeah. So maybe something to do with that song. Against the wind. You're moving. All right, there's you showing up in your reading here. Wow. Okay, you got some magic going on here, Virgo. You're doing something at a table this weekend, I see. Doing something at a table. Okay, maybe you're cooking a big meal for everybody, or you're cooking for family or some friends, looking up recipes. You got something going on this weekend, though. Doing something at a table. 
Leave me a comment if you have anything that you're doing over this weekend that involves a table as crafting or cooking or woodworking or yeah, making like making a big meal or something. <coughs> Excuse me, you're doing something. You're performing some kind of performance. Maybe you're at a podium or you're selling stuff or you're, you're doing a speech over this weekend, a convention or something. You're performing. You get some goods. Could have something to do with money. You could be making money at this as well. Or maybe you're making plans to do this. Okay, it's a magician. It's something very creative, but you're very focused. Now, all these messages can blend or they can be completely separate. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. I just want to know what you're ending. I just have to ask, what is Virgo ending? Putting the kibosh on something here. What's Virgo ending? Maybe you're quitting a job, not going back. Oh yeah, for some of you it's work. Some of you are just so, I feel like you're breaking out of a routine. Maybe you're, and it's crazy because right, Virgo loves routine, right? But also remember, Virgo's immutable sign, so change and adapt, change is, is Virgo's mantra. I know you might think that's crazy, a not adaptable sign, you're mutable. And muta mut mutability means change. Virgos tip for Virgos. Virgos are not fixed, so they're very adaptable. So whatever new thing they get into, they adapt to it very easily. Um, Pisces are mutable signs, adapt very easily as well. Gemini's adapt very easily. Um, yeah. So I feel like you, whatever routine, whatever's just been the same. You're, you're putting a little spice into something maybe you're you're ending this routine making some kind of change okay whatever it is i think i tend to think virgos do like their routine but they get bored they can they tend to get a little bored not everything some things stay specifically the same day in and day out you know like maybe they wash your hair or certain shampoos you use you know certain things but big ticket things, I think Virgo's like, they do like the sense of the new and the clean and the fresh and the shiny new, right? Um, and even Virgos will repurpose things. And to them, that's like, oh, okay, now it's brand new. <laughs> you know, Virgos do love change. They're not fixed. Okay. You're also going to be averting some kind of disaster this weekend. Let's take a look here. Ooh. So remember, I, I don't know if you saw my short from earlier today, but I saw that you were going to get some kind of love offer and that you were turning it down. Turning down a love offer because you got other stuff going on. And I feel like, I don't know if this is the same thing, but I do feel like there's an issue. Okay, let me just put it, let me. Um, if you have, if you're going out partying this weekend or anything, I mean, I get it, right? Like I'm 55, I don't go out partying, but if you be careful, if you have too many drinks or something like that, right? Okay. So I don't know if it's an advice to tell you that, but I feel like you might be with some people over this weekend where there's a lot of gossip, a lot of drinking, you know, or just drink maybe just a little too much. Um, if you go out on a date with someone, don't accept any drink that somebody buys for you and you don't see them pouring it or you don't watch it be poured and don't turn your head away from a drink ever if you're out in public with somebody new that you're meeting. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you go on a date with someone, I don't care how old you are, you go on a date with someone, you meet them at a club and they've got a drink for you. Like they say, what do you want to drink? And then they get your drink for you. You don't know what they put in your drink. You'd be like, no, no, I'll order my own. Thank you very much. You can have that. I don't like that. Lie. Whatever. Um, that's a couple of things. Uh, you might even just avert di disaster. Like if you're with some, like pace yourself, you might be like, no, I need to pace, pace myself. Could even be like overeating, <laughs> right? Because the three of the three of cups is, eh, you know, we're having, we're indulging. This is overindulgence. So that's what I feel like. You, you avoid that. Maybe you're like trying to diet or you're trying to watch your calories this weekend and you know, or whatever you're eating, you're, you're keeping your carbs low or something. You get invited out and you're making this big meal too, right? Possibly. So <laughs> you definitely um, avert any kind of, if you're someone who's cooking this weekend, right? <laughs> 
don't burn the roast. <laughs> I feel like you keep your eye on the oven, keep your eye on the stove. If that's your, if that's what you're doing. Don't walk away from a second for a second. Okay. Keep a fire extinguisher in your kitchen or whatever, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Is does that mean there might be like a little bit of a fire? So I, I mean, it could, but it looks like it's not going to happen. So good for you. Things could be worse, right? <laughs> All right, what else is going on this weekend? Crazy. Okay, what do you got on your mind here? You're also thinking heavily about something. Ooh, which direction do you want to go? Oh, that's that's weighing heavily on you. You're at a crossroad. You've been, you might have been for a while thinking about something. You got a lot on your mind. You're reflecting. You're trying to get some illumination. Which way do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this could have something to do with travel. Um, you're at a crossroad. You got to pick a lane. Or pick a path. Yep, so I feel like you got something here deep down within. You know that there's a decision. You feel it in your bones. I know you can feel something, that you got to do something. That's like, oh. You might be overthinking. You might be overthinking it. Sometimes that, that's a sense where if you think too much, you can cause yourself to become paralyzed and you don't move. Sometimes I think if you just get out of your head and just go, then somehow the answer just comes. You know what I mean? When you stop thinking about a thing, that's when the answer comes to you. You know, it's always on the tip of my tongue. But if you stop thinking about it, then, you know, it releases. So I feel like whatever you're at the crossroads, this decision, stop thinking about it so much. Just do it. Well, just do something. That's the biggest message for this weekend. Leave, maybe leave it go. All right, you also have judgment. Okay, somebody's having a wake-up call. Some kind of revelation happening here this weekend. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Wake-up call about, like, taking some kind of a risk, Virgo. All right, maybe following this, but you're going to know what you need to do by, by Sunday. You're going to know what you need to do. This is something about starting over. <laughs> Having a brand new beginning. Yep. And it's going to get revealed to you this weekend. This is pretty much like with the fool. So like with Virgo, right? So I kind of feel like, oh, let me over, I'm overthinking, I'm overthinking, I'm over, trying to sort it all out, pros and cons, weigh it all up, blah, blah, getting dive, diving down deep. And then swinging the pendulum over to far the other side. And then be like, you know what? I'm not going to think about it at all. Just go. Right, so this is the energy. This is the pendulum swing right here. Okay. So it looks like you're going from one side to the other over this weekend, right? And I feel like that's what I was saying. You're going from one side to the other. What is this new beginning? Some kind of new start in your life. So it might have something to do with travel or it's, it's physical. It's some kind of new physical start. Just do it. Yep, that's what it is. It's it's a just do it thing. Once you, once you get the call, right? Once it's revealed to you, then just go. That's all I can tell you. Just go. It, I feel like for a lot of you, it's something to do with travel. I do. Or movement. Going somewhere. Even if it's relocating, whatever it is. Take a chance. Taking a chance. Taking a risk. Okay. So you have the Seven of Cups. Oh. The person who ghosted you is stalking the sh out of you over this weekend. Oh, heavily. Heavily. The person who ghosted, the person who's non-committal, the person who has so many options, can't narrow it down, stalking you, spying on you. Watching, okay? Talking about you. If your ears are ringing over this weekend, Virgo, and I'm not talking tinnitus. I'm talking like a brand new ring. <laughs> yeah. They're watching you. So I'm keeping your eye on you. Because it looks like either they ghosted you or they're trying to find you because you're really not available. All right. And you're also making a beautiful um, romantic connection or mutual connection with someone. A heartfelt loving connection with someone over this weekend too. Let's see. Mmm. This is someone from your past. Deep, deep past. 
So there's a connection here that you make with someone who is unable to forget about you. And they might tell you that. It could be a friend, maybe like from high school or something, or maybe young in your youth. Um, you connect with them. And I feel like there's this... I feel like there's this, can, this someone from your youth that you maybe you guys were maybe you were together then and you guys come back together over this weekend wow you connect over this weekend i've always thought about you i never stopped thinking about you i've always wondered how you were you might connect on social media and then make plans to meet or maybe you guys see each other on a site somewhere and it's like hey oh my gosh Really? You? You? And then you guys make plans to meet over this weekend. And actually, something beautiful starts here. It's like you guys pick up where you left off. Could be a water sign. It could be a Leo. Could be a Scorpio. It's very beautiful energy. Pisces. Okay. You also have Justice. Ooh. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look at it this way. Okay. Some of you, you don't have to pay child support. Okay, I just heard that. Or maybe not as much. Um, yeah, some of you, um, you might be struggling to pay some taxes or some legal fees. Okay, maybe there's a lawyer or something like that. They might come down on you hard, put some fees on you for something or your taxes, you might find out. <laughs> That you owe a lot more or that you you have back taxes or something like that or maybe your tax refund never came in it's held up by the tax man it's being held up okay so you might find out about this 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 weekend or they might come knocking on your door you know and um you can't pay them okay all right you got the hierophant oh yeah <laughs> All right, this is a continuation. Um, I feel like you're not making enough money. You're not making enough money. We need to go switch jobs or go get another job or a second. You're holding on to every last bit, like Virgo. You also have a possessive Taurus in your life somewhere and a selfish Libra. Okay. Um, but I feel like, like with your job, I don't know. They're, they're holding too much in taxes, or maybe you're 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 not get you're not making enough money. You're trying to save every last dime you have here. I think maybe it's time to start looking for other financial opportunities. It's like okay, do I got to pay my taxes or do I pay my electric? You know, like it, that should never. That should never. That should never happen. Because it's like if you don't pay your taxes and they come and they put you in jail, right? I don't know. Like, I don't know the legalities. But, like, that happens. Or if you don't pay your electric, then you have, like, your food rots in your fridge, right? Or, or you have no heat or, or cool air. Like, and so maybe you have a CPAP machine at night. You know what I'm saying? Like, this should never, it should never be, do I pay my taxes or do I pay my electric bill? What, what kind of world are we living in here in, in this country? Like we're slaves, we're like freaking slaves. Don't get me started. It's freaking slavery. All right. So anyway, and then so you, go, you got to go get a second and a third job, right? Just to live. Don't get me started. It's total bullshit. Okay, you got the four of wands in reverse. Oh. Somebody wants you to come home, Virgo, and you do not want to go. You don't want to return. There's some argument, possibly an argument. Somebody's trying to apologize and you're not accepting it. You don't want a reunion this weekend with someone. There was some kind of argument. Either there, it starts on Friday and then Sunday, like, no, no apologies accepted. Or it's happened before and you're just completely indifferent to it no could be with family could be with a partner some friends you're either not ready 
or you're just not interested or both okay so wow wow you got new love you got a new, beautiful, blessed beginning. Some of you, you get a new, there's a new job opportunity. You get some kind of hope back here. You're being gifted some kind of beautiful, blessed gift, emotional, something emotional. It's going to make you very happy emotionally. So you're coming out of this poverty thing, you know, like this is the struggle. There's like hope returns. A new job offer comes in just when you need it, right? You pay your electric bill or pay your taxes. Some of you are going to get, um, if you're applying for a home, whether it's a lease or a purchase, uh, it's going to come in. You can find out about it this weekend. Okay, the High Priestess and the Sun. Wow, secrets coming out. Ooh, there's a secret coming out, Virgo. A secret's being revealed. Ooh, double Leo there. I'm trying to find out what this secret is, but there's a lot of opening up. Courage. Maybe you're revealing a secret, or someone's revealing a secret to you. There's definitely some boundaries coming down here. your sign I feel like someone who's been in isolation has the courage and strength to come out and reveal something some kind of secret um, what was the secret oh page of wands reversed somebody tells you they were very immature they've been acting very immature it was very immature for them to do something. They've been thinking about it. So is that an apology? I don't know. Well, it's something to do with like a betrayal or a backstabbing situation. So you do get like, it feels like a confession. You get like some kind of confession. All right, you might be going to a wedding this weekend. Have fun. Don't ever drink. <laughs> Avoid the disaster. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh my gosh. Yes. You're getting a confession. I feel like I, I wish I could reverse this and start the reading with this because that's what's happening here. Somebody's got something to tell you. Could be a Pisces. Could be a fire sign, air sign. Could be a Leo. Could be an earth sign. Definitely a confession. Somebody um, apologizes to you for um, putting up such hard boundaries with you. Okay. Or shutting you out. All right, let's see. Messages of love. All right, you've got protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering because you did have the fool there and you have awakening someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation now you got boundaries up firm boundaries for sure okay interesting all right virgo let's get into your stuff you've got the letter h you've got a y someone says hello like they say hi h y h y is significant okay so you have Gemini, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, and Capricorn. Significant this weekend. All right. September 8th. By the way, if it's your birthday today or over this weekend, happy birthday to you. Okay. So we've got 31, 61, 36, 22, September 22nd, 43, 48, September 8th again, 1988, 58, August 28, 52, 67, 78, 87, 83, September 15th, September 4th, am I calling out your birthday? Baja, I just heard Baja, B-A-G, B-A-J, 
A, Baha. Okay. Someone, you can have a connection with a Gemini or a Taurus or Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay. Typhoon. Oh my gosh. Somebody's typhoon? It's a typhoon. Big typhoon this weekend. Is that like a hurricane? A typhoon, I guess it's like in Asia. So I don't know. Maybe it's there. Typhoon in Asia, really big. It's going to be somewhere very, very hot. Very hot. Now, you might be somewhere where it's very, very hot. Somebody might be in the ER this weekend or goes to the ER for something. Doesn't have to be you. Okay, someone's getting their bachelor's in arts this weekend. Okay. So, I've got the letter CJ. Somebody's name is CJ? Initial CJ? All right. Somebody's taking a bath. Somebody's going into real estate. Or works in real estate. Somebody sees a bear this weekend. Big black bear or brown bear. I'm at, I guess if you live in an area where there's bears, that's normal. I do not. So if I see a bear this weekend, y'all know. I will be letting you know. Because we don't have any bears here. Okay. Mm. Alright, so I'm getting Pat. Patricia. Somebody's working PT part-time. Okay, I hear Kathy, I hear Ariel, I hear Brian, Thomas, Timothy, BJ, um, okay, Patch, Patch, maybe that's a nickname. Um, Trump, hearing that, I mean, that's not like, I mean, Trump's all over the news, so that's not a big deal. Okay, somebody's eating a pear, somebody's um, really into eating fruits and vegetables, like maybe like whole foods, somebody eats like nothing but whole foods, maybe close to vegan, or someone's a vegan, and I'm, they're showing me like a, a batch of candles. So are you creating candles or making pouring candles this weekend? And someone's in a cab, which could be like an Uber, right? I guess they're kind of the same. Um, somebody's at Costco this weekend, <laughs> going to Costco. Okay. Oh my gosh. Somebody's um, eggs are hatching. <laughs> they're just showing me cracked eggs. Maybe you're making eggs, cracking eggs, but I'm all seeing hatching eggs. Like there's chickadees chickies coming out with some hatched eggs okay all right you guys <laughs> let's do a couple charms yay all right mickey mouse enough said connection to mickey mouse pink flamingos somebody must be in florida and a beautiful reindeer okay rudolph is that rudolph or bambi disney vibes what's up I get, they're giving me huge Disney vibes here this weekend. So, is somebody going to Disney? Disneyland, Disney World. Big Disney vibes, I'm telling you. Uh, let me just get a couple more. Is that a drink, Pink Flamingo? Somebody's having a drink. Okay. So, we got a strawberry. Okay. When I was in high school, my friends named me. My nickname was Tangerine in high school because I loved that song from Led Zeppelin. Yes, I'm old. I know. It was called Tangerine. Okay, somebody... Oh, wow. There's a candle with holly. So that's very Christmassy. That's a Christmas candle with a white heart. Beautiful. Christmas. There's a Christmas candle vibes. Um, hmm. I, like I said, I saw a batch of candles. So somebody's pouring like heart-shaped candles, I feel like, or buying them. I'm seeing them. A beautiful like vanilla jasmine scent, something along those lines. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your weekend reading here. I hope that you enjoy that. Yes. Um, September 20th through the 22nd. So if you like the video, definitely put a like before you leave to help because I'm trying to hit a thousand likes. 
And this week, I don't know if we even hit a thousand. We have plenty of views, but I don't know if we've had a lot of likes on the video. So if you guys wouldn't mind, could help me out this week and punch in a couple of likes on the takes two seconds. No big deal. Nobody knows you're doing it. It supports the channel big time. Like if you can't monetarily support the channel, just put a like on the video. And that 100% gets my videos out and gets more views to it. If you want to help me out, that's the way to do it. Not, I mean, I'm not like, it's just great. I think everyone should be able to have fun with the tarot messages, right? So, all right, you guys, going to leave that there for you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you all back here Sunday evening. Take care. Bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I want